Ladies and gentlemen, there's about a month left until the season ends, and in this video I'm gonna see if I can unlock the Mythic Llama Backbling within 24 hours, but without using bot lobbies, because let's make it even more difficult. It's a very shiny Backbling, but in order to unlock it, it requires a whole lot of grinding, and you have to complete several stages of challenges, with each one becoming more difficult as you progress. Since I already unlocked Revenant Kato Thorn within 24 hours, I figured, hey, why not suffer a bit more and try this one? You should expect lots of rocket ramming and headshot hunting in this video. Probably also a lot of complaining if I get eliminated before completing a quest. Anyway, let's use create a code score in the item shop, purchase the battle pass because I got V-Bucks anyways, and let's go hunt some victory royales. Let's start the timer in game number one. I don't know what... This, this is not a good start, you guys. Where even am I? I am not going to take unnecessary risks, and eventually I'm going to play squads, but I feel like this first set of challenges is going to go a lot easier if I just do it in solos. I need one elimination and I've chosen you to be my sacrifice. Hello and goodbye. So just because I'm not playing bot lobbies, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to come across bots. I'm actually really hoping that my games will be filled with several bots, just to make my life a little bit easier. There we go. Survival matter upgraded. Finish the match to continue. I am just going to go return to the lobby. The first game only took seven minutes, but loading screens and waiting in the lobby is going to waste the most time. I accidentally leveled up. I want to keep my level as low as possible, but unfortunately, I'm not going to remain at level one forever. I do want to show you guys my favorite hiding spot on this map. I also have the perfect loadout for these shenanigans. All right, so I go over to this parking garage, put down a little ambush. This is optional. You don't necessarily have to do that. Go up at the zip line and place down a business turret right here. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm an idiot. I'm just going to pretend like that never happened. Anyway, you go up with the elevator, place on a business turret right here if you have one, then jump down without actually failing to grab onto the zip line, and then sit in this peaceful little corner. This is perfect. At any point during my failure, I could have just grabbed onto the zip line, but I was just in full panic mode. How did this bot manage to annoy all the other bots and then they're shooting at me instead of him? And then they steal my elimination as well. I'm just gonna wait in front of the door? That is a nasty move. I approve. I was also thinking to myself that it's probably faster if I just start eliminating players. But then again, I don't want to take unnecessary risks and accidentally come across an MLG Pro. So there's that. Decisions, decisions. Excuse me, what? Bust through a closed door? Since when is this a door? It's a hatch at best. Just out of pure curiosity, would I be allowed to use the hours I didn't spend on Kato Thorn on this video? It makes sense to me, but you guys might feel different about it. Ooh, a fight is going on here. If I eliminate one of them, I should reach common four. Come on. Yes, perfect. I'm just gonna finish you off because we don't leave any witnesses. So I know for a fact that someone is here. The main question is, do I want to go ahead and ruin his day? Hmm. He kind of missed the spot. Oh, how did he not see me? Wait. Am I gonna make this interception? Oh, oh I am a genius. What? No way. No, that was so beautiful. I can't believe I landed the interception of a lifetime only for it to not have any result whatsoever. All right, Spidey, you live to die another day because I don't have time to waste on this. One more player has to go. And unfortunately, there is a Goku that is standing still here. Such a weird spot to go AFK. Anyway, Survivor Melda upgraded. I'm going to finish this match. And with one hour, 59 minutes and 29 seconds, I unlocked the first stage of the Priced Llama. The thought process currently is what did I get myself into? You might be wondering if I'm not bored out of my mind by sitting in that elevator. Honestly, I'm just watching TikToks waiting until I get to Epic Rarity so that the real fun can start. This man is going crazy with the lightsaber. How did he not end up losing most of his... Oh, okay. I spoke too soon. He got wrecked. Couple of updates for you guys. I just found a new weapon in the game called a tactical DMR. This thing deals a lot of damage. Let me see if I can show it to you. It's just a little bit difficult to actually properly aim. Don't stand still and eat apples. That's not good for your health. Anyway, survival matter upgraded. I'm going to leave that crown right there. Current playtime, 4 hours, 21 minutes and 21 seconds. And it's time to rock the uncommon style for the Price Llama. Look at that pretty green back bling. I'm not necessarily panicking, but I am slowly starting to feel the time pressure a little bit. Wait, this is a little freaky. I'm at rare metal 8, and I had to finish in the 28th spot with two eliminations, and then found out that someone eliminated me in the 28th spot. This one had to be destiny. I paused the timer for a little bit because I want to figure out what happened here. It's quite funny to see in which spot I finished every match. Literally completed the medal and then I was like, bye. Here's me sitting peacefully beneath the stairs. I see a purple marker above me. Pretty sure that that person doesn't have infrared sight. Wait. So she just went down to loot the vault. 
And because she did that, some players probably got eliminated. And now she's just sitting here doing I don't know what. And then when she went up, she fell down. Amazing. So because this person was failing to walk up the stairs, I have been compromised. I'm just happy you wasted enough time in the vault so that I reached 28 spot. Okay, timer goes back and I go back. So I know I just said that the bots seem to have disappeared from my game. I really honestly do not know what is happening here. Do I put it out of its misery? Oh, I think it hurt me. You'd think that I would be a little bit more surprised, but my days of playing Pokemon and watching Magikarp use Splash have prepared me for this during my entire childhood. <laughs> Did you just shoot at me? So if I turn away for one second, then suddenly bullets are gonna fire. What in tarnation is happening here? Can you continue to... What? Okay, I did not see that one coming. And then she just continues to splash like nothing happened. I'm not taking this risk anymore. Please go ahead and die. <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened there. I also don't know what that laugh was. <laughs> I feel like that one originated from my left toe. I got eliminated in the 20th spot by an R skin. She had 4 HP left. Did I complete my medal? That is the real question of today. I am so lucky. This is reminding me of that staircase incident all over again. This is such a horrible thing to do. Spotting someone you want to eliminate from the battle bus. Then snatching that weapon in front of them. Where are you going to jump? <laughs> and then eliminating them. I am sorry. I don't, I don't necessarily have to be like this, but I do enjoy being like this. Whenever I come across a building with a lot of gas cans, I have the tendency to blow all of them up. I am really hoping that people are not like me <laughs> and that this will prove to be some sort of a safe space. Oh my gosh, there's danger everywhere. Please. Oh, it's upgraded. Thank you so much. Can you bounce a rocket off of this thing? No, you cannot. I could not have asked for a more perfect circle for this final stage of rare. Survival metal upgraded. Let's finish the match and continue. The timer is currently at 6 hours and 27 minutes. I'm noticing the matches are getting progressively longer. That might be even more since I now have to reach top 10 and stuff. I also feel like it's time for a new outfit. Did I unlock Asaka already? You guys would be surprised at learning how well hiding in plain sight really works. I've always wondered what happens if you are mid-air and then loot lake spawns. Okay, apparently that's what happens. This mountain has its own set of physics. Whenever I try to park my car at the top, it's just gonna keep on slowly but surely drag me towards the end of it. Ooh, someone sniped the back of my window, but I'm in 14th spot. I saw it coming. I could have moved, but I had to go back to the lobby anyway, so don't think that you're good. Please, get wrecked. He wrecked himself. All right, fair enough. I'm just gonna go over to loot lake because why not? Did I get him? Is that going to be my final elimination? Oh, that is beautiful. I'm going to break your turret as well. And I'm going to take your crown just because I can. And I'm going to level up with the timer at seven hours and 46 minutes. I'm officially halfway done. This was a proper way to reach level 100 in a video. I don't think I'm going to be able to top this. Oh, I'm being lasered. This is not okay. This is really not okay. Only one more player needs to go. Oh, crap. I'm inside of a tree. Nope, I'm not going to. I'm not going to bother falling down. Oh, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. No, 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 no. You. Three seconds. Three seconds. Come on. Let me go away. <laughs> this is really no bueno. Just eliminate someone else, please. For the love of everything that is holy. I don't like this. I really do not like this. Oh, crap. I'm inside of a tree again. No, no, no. I fell down. <gasps> Oh, but someone got eliminated. I'm an 8 spot, so that means my medal got upgraded. <laughs> okay, um, this, this amount of pressure in my games is really not what I want to have right now. But at least that's epic 3. I'm just do what I did last game. Come from this tree and go to the next match. Wait, what? Oh, that was pretty cool. That was the last possible second that I could have done that. And that is epic 2 done. One more to go. So I just died off spawn about four times. I'm completely done with that because it's a delay of about 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some defaults. This was not a default. Also, this gun is absolutely awful. I have no other words for it. That blue llama is matching the bush quite well. I just need one more player to go so that I can reach legendary 10. 
I do not understand what's taking so long. Okay, finally. With a playtime of 9 hours and 20 minutes, I unlocked the epic prized llama. The last one I needed took me about 40 minutes just because I kept getting eliminated off spawn. Let's go ahead and get that legendary one. Oh, this is gonna match the outfit so nicely. Oh, now that's satisfying. So, three whole stages left to go, 30 quests to complete, and I have a total of about 14 and a half hours to do that. I'm not too worried about legendary and exotic because I feel like I have a good chance at completing those. I am worried about mythic, however. I have now arrived at the point where every fight feels like it could have been in an anime. Not necessarily too happy about that. Come on, please. Now you messed up. How did I end up there? <laughs> Not necessarily what I wanted to do, but it worked. One more player needs to go. I need one more elimination. I don't know what this person is doing, but I feel like you would be a fine candidate for this last one. Come on. No, don't go inside. There we go. Survivor medal upgraded. I can deal with this. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> I have 6 HP left. So yes, that's what I meant with the anime style fights. Fortunately, I have all the eliminations that I need. Nice little loadout as well. The sirens can stop now, they're giving me a headache. Somebody's inside this vault. I think I should know how to deal with this without getting hurt. Yes, hide behind that thing. And hit it one more time with the business turret. Why is my turret not functioning? Turret, take him out. That was the lousiest turret ever. Oh, this, however, is very nice. Whoa. Wait, what? That was the most epic thing I ever did? Or well, in this match. <laughs> and then I didn't get the elimination. That person got blown up, but because it was of a gas can or the gas thing, it counted as a suicide. Crap, we're in top 10 and I still need that final elimination. I really don't want to waste this entire match. What's happening to my game? What are these bright colors? This doesn't look like something that should be in the game. It looks like I'm going to be kidnapped by aliens. I hate everything. I didn't get that final elimination. <laughs> so is this part of the build up the next season? Or is something wrong with my uh, graphics card? Oh wait, I'm already at top 9. Yes, it took me 45 minutes to complete one single stage. I don't know why I've been stuck on this for so long. This has been absolutely ridiculous. All right, screw it. I'm going to play squads because I cannot take this abuse anymore. Got killed off spawn like six or seven times. I wasted about 20 minutes again. Okay, this is starting off great. One of my teammates got uh, wrecked already. Why, why did you have to break the pizza? I wanted to have some slices. Thank you. It appears that I am now telepathic. I got eliminated. That's a little bit unfortunate. I want to see if I can still... Okay, never mind. I'm just going to go ahead and pretend like that previous match never happened. Oh, that is a lot of damage. I really miss not being able to shake down players anymore. Just activated an augment that will give me increased damage for scoped weapons. And just gonna make one more element. Wait, was that a 300 headshot? So all my teammates got wrecked and now I'm being chased by a raptor. Nope, I'm not doing this. I'm just gonna go ahead and slowly wait it out. I can't believe they're still in the game. I'm just going to carefully see if I can grab the reboot card. This little act of charity better not get me eliminated. Just one more. Let me see if this counts. I have four eliminations. My teammates have another four. It should be five. Yes, survival medal upgraded. It worked. Whoa. You wanna you wanna spray some of that on me? Please? Oh, thank you so much. I like this team. Putting skill-based matchmaking in a casual playlist really is one of humanity's worst mistakes. I see oh, I'm so lucky. Oh, this is an accurate summary of how my matches have been for the past 30 minutes. Fun times. Okay, reach top 10. I'm currently in a squads match. My teammates have gotten wrecked. But now I have to carefully make my way to the zone and outlast those final three players. Final two players. Oh crap, someone got rebooted. No, this is no way, no. I am slowly coming to the realization that I'm never going to get this done. From all the possible weapons that I could have obtained from a chest, I get a sniper rifle. I also don't know what those teammates are doing. Or those enemies, rather. Okay. My goodness. How do I miss people standing still? What is this? That's another headshot. There we go. It's an FNCS skin. Can we make this work? Hey, I got a lot of eliminations. Yes, please go ahead and reboot your teammate. There we go. No. Teammate, please. Get rid of the last one. Teammate. <laughs> 
I'm, ha I'm not having any fun anymore. Really, whoever puts skill-based matchmaking in a casual mode, you deserve a rocket ram to your left toe. This is horrendous. All right, I have all the eliminations that I need. Now I just gotta survive. Waiting for the zone to move and I reach level 82. I'm probably gonna reach level 100 faster than I'm gonna complete this challenge. Why does there always have to be one teammate that goes on a solo mission? That there's no way we're gonna catch up to you on time. And there he goes. I don't know what he was trying to achieve. Why am I not able to revive this guy? What is happening? It's, it doesn't matter where I throw him. I'm unable to what in the crap. Ladies and gentlemen, I really tried to make it work with randoms, but all that happened was me getting eliminated, getting eliminated again, and getting eliminated once more. There were quite some matches where my team stayed strong until the second spot, and then suddenly everybody got wiped, and then after about two hours of that abuse, I was like, hey, let me ask my friend to help me out because this is obviously not gonna work. That's also the exact same time when this challenge became fun again, because we played zero builds and we also played regular battle royale. And the games went well, really well actually. Okay, maybe not that well. First game that we played together, we ended up in the second spot because we both missed a few shots on the last duo. But then we were a little bit more careful. And after I don't know how long, we finally completed Legendary 1, earning a victory royale with at least 5 eliminations. Naturally, I had to make a nice outfit combination with this one again. I think I succeeded pretty well, but not well enough to land the rocket right on the final guy. Unfortunately, I didn't make enough assists to complete the first stage of Exotic. Eliminated a guy with my rocket launcher, and then his teammate made an entire circle around the map, only for him to go back in the zone, grab his teammate's reboot card, and then try to make his way to a reboot pen, but then he got shot while he was in mid-air. It was a really sad story, but it had to happen. The games after that were going quite well, actually. We kind of rushed through the stages, but getting a victory royale was nearly impossible, because as soon as you reach top 10, all the MLG pros come out. Went through a little bit of a rough patch afterwards, because I think I activated an augment that attracted sniper bullets to my head, or sticky grenade launcher shots. It was actually quite impressive how many I caught. Fortunately, all bad things come to an end, because the next time that we played... We got several victory royals in a row. I'm not complaining, but I am wondering how the skill levels of our enemies just suddenly drop because it didn't feel like it was a cash cup anymore. However, once I got to Exotic 3, that's when the real terror began. It took me about 13 and a half hours to complete Gold 1, but then as soon as I reached Exotic 3, I was probably already at 17 or 18 hours of playtime for these next couple of stages. I honestly don't even want to relive those moments by looking at the footage, but I'm gonna have to do it anyway. So yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoy this. I am currently at 18 hours and 37 minutes of playtime, so I have pretty much given up on the 24 hours. I reached level 100 somewhere. I'm currently level 109, which is nice, which means I completed the challenge twice this season. Oh, you really picked the wrong hiding spot. Yes! Oh my gosh! Finally, another tier completed. I keep forgetting that there's something that I can still do. Uh, I'm kind of messing up my landing, but this is probably going to be worth it. Visualize sound effects. This way, I don't have to get surprised by people anymore. Oh, I see footsteps. Okay, this is going to be risky. No. No, there is absolutely no... How did he shoot faster twice with a sharp tooth? Okay, he has C4 and he has a turret. And a rocket launcher! Cool! Immediately starting off with a special chest and a rocket launcher. This is how the previous guy must have felt. But then he also had a turret. Come on, hit him again. Yes, perfect. <laughs> and then there's one other one right here. 70, 70. Hit that last one. Yes! Okay, those were more eliminations than I thought I would make. Also more than I needed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and find a safe spot. Because only six more players need to go. There we go, got my bounty, you know, one second too late, are you kidding me? 10 eliminations, that's a really nice way to finish off this last stage. And I say these things as if I'm about to be done with the challenge, well the thing is, I'm definitely going to be done with solos after this, so what I think I should do is go back to the place where this all started, and into the elevator I go. Please, Zone, if you could just give me this last one, just please go right here, I'd greatly appreciate that. Oh, someone else was eliminated. Okay, one more. Yes! It has been done! I know I said I wasn't gonna do bot lobbies, but three level ones is a little bit uh, too suspicious. Hmm, all of them have a crown. This is potentially promising. Is this gonna be the final match that I need to get out of exotic? It all depends on where we're gonna drop. Hit the player that's down already. Perfect. <gasps> I almost got hit in the face with a thing. Uh, what's it called? A, a slapstone? Oh, that was... That was gonna be horrible. Yeah, I would ask a question as to why I'm the only one that got wrecked. 
But the fact that I'm the only one without a crown probably says a lot already. I'm just gonna patiently wait for them to reboot me. Um, also, why are you guys not together? Because the enemy team is just bomb rushing all of us in a combined effort. And you guys are just scattered. I don't know where. See, what I don't understand is that I just rebooted that guy. And then he goes back into the zone by himself with a great pistol to do what exactly? And now I died because of him. What were you doing here? This guy, Jewess, already revived me two times. And now he came back for my reboot card. This is going to be teammate of the day. So the one that's nowhere near the teammates. If you could just go ahead and reboot me, that would be lovely. And where's the one that's responsible for my death? He made it out unscathed. Really? I have objections to this. I have issues with this. There's a lot that I have with this. If there's anything else that I'm gonna do in this match, it's giving my life for Jewess. Oh, mister, I'm gonna go into the zone by myself to rush for enemies. I fell to his death. Jewess got eliminated before I did. And then the one that's outlasted us all is got you from behind. I dislike you very, very much. So all of them decided to stand at the vault and then no one picked up the card. That's smart. Okay, top 10. There's a TTV team being very aggressive which might be in the way of me in a victory. All right, you guys, this is it. The final final push. Wait, what? why am I the one being lasered? Six players are flying, and then every shot lands on me. 105? No, I was behind the tree. Behind you, behind you, behind you. <laughs> why, man? Fantastic. Really? I don't know why you guys had to go on a solo mission. And in today's episode of Scatter Teammates, myself and someone else are going to relentless retreat. There's someone going solo for Kato Thorn, and blue guy is just lost on the map somewhere. I think that destroying this tower is gonna eliminate someone. Not entirely sh Nice! But why did I not get that fall? Because I even hit him before he touched the ground. Isn't there some healing here somewhere? Oh gosh! I am getting so tired of this. Is this man doing quests at Frenzy Fields? Is that why you want to land there? Oh, Mr. Frenzy Fields has gone down. Who would have thought? Such a surprising turn of events that happened there. Okay, this is interesting. A couple of matches ago, I was eliminated by someone called Not Me, who had a victory crown. I'm pretty sure that this is the same person. I'm just going to assume that this is going to work out in my favor. And this is going to be the match that will end all of it. It's starting so many new matches that I'm now recognizing people by name. No, don't fly away. See, this is what teammates play like. They land together. I shoot down one. The other one takes out, takes me out. Just reached level 120. This is probably a record for me to do in 24 hours. What is happening to my teammate? There's two Frankensteins or two uh, Michael Myers running behind him. So how did that rocket launcher not kill all of them? Ooh. That was a satisfying hit. Okay, this game wants to insist on making me suffer in the most awful ways possible. Let's go to the place where I actually do need to play skill-based matchmaking. I have never done arena before. Can I play with a random person? I'm actually wondering if it's not better to just play solos. But I feel like I deserve a little bit of luck. Oh, uh, based upon the skins that I'm seeing here, Travis Scott, superhero with a crown. Yeah, this is not gonna be nice. <laughs> please, please do not get eliminated. Oh, 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 why, man? <laughs> why, man? All right, I brought you back. Please do not be a burden to me. You better not steal my mythic. Not after I brought you back. Yes, I got it. Okay, I'm gonna win this one. I can feel it. So I am solo in ranked duos. Um, I don't know what he was doing in Slappy Shores. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> my game crashed. Fortnite has crashed. We're very sorry this happened. And we're working towards preventing this in the future. No, 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 no. Why do they always have to shoot me from seven different directions? So guys, this is interesting. We hire two NPCs, which means we technically have a squad. I need one more assist or elimination. And I would like my teammate to stop running around like a headless chicken. That's a knock. Perfect. I love the Boombo in Zero Builds. It's such a good weapon. Oh, I'm being sniped. I don't want that. We also have that storm forecast thing, so there's absolutely no reason as to why we shouldn't win this match. One duo remains and one solo person. I have never been this close to a victory. I can almost smell it. Are you kidding me? He made no. He made no. He made yes! <laughs> yes! 
<laughs> I had two assists and I had five eliminations. This better have been the one. Because I am so done with this. Earn the victory crown? Okay, sure. I'm still not seeing that stage upgrade. This is unbelievable. I had the five eliminations. I had the two assists. But maybe because I was dead, it didn't count. I hate everything about this. Literally everything. Now, what are you doing all the way over here? Very weird spot to be in. That was a nice headshot. I see you, fish stick. I saw you a bit more, fish stick. That sniper is pretty accurate today. Oh, a lot of things happening in the kill feed. Oh, <laughs> all the way on Loot Island. Oh, that sucks. Uh, can you can you not stand still out in the open like that? Oh, please tell me you're not going there. Oh no, my teammate landed there. There's two enemies. Yeah, this is great. This is fantastic. Out of all the places you could have dropped, this is perfect. I just need to take into account how much the bullet's gonna drop. Awesome. Is that the fish tank that I shot down earlier? There's his teammate, and teammate's gone too. Nope, you're not safe there because I have the bloodhound perk. Okay, it's a 1v1. There we go. Spotted him. It's gonna take this nice and slow. Yes! Headshot! There we go! Finally! If I didn't unlock that thing now, I'm un uninstalling the game. There's no other option. Ah! Oh, it finally went to Mythic. Had to do it in Duos Arena. Literally, casual game modes are no bueno. It had to be done in Arena. All right, you guys, it's finally over. I unlocked the exotic Price Llama back bling. I feel like this one goes quite well with Revenant Kato Thorn. So I know that the challenge was to unlock the Mythic variant, but seeing how the timer is at 26 hours and 16 minutes, I am already overdue with the exotic one. So for now, we're going to leave it at that. The matches that I played with Kevin were a lot of fun, but doing this with the randoms and then with skill-based matchmaking, I did not really enjoy that. Anyway, I don't know how long this video is going to be since I have to go through 26 hours of footage, but I do hope that you enjoyed my pain and suffering. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you at the next one.